he wanted to make one lost connection between locals and uh, the registration site and also he wanted to uh, because he thought that he will be not there always so he wanted to uh, make it sustainable and locals come local shall come they think uh, local shall come and they participate in uh, their uh, you know all activity and also local take it forward in future so for that he engaged me and he told me that uh, why not you connect with other uh, research institute and make this uh, tribal especially tribal competent so that they can harvest it and also they can nurture this site in future so taking this this all their his his, his idea i started working on different uh, livelihood option so that i can connect those uh, locals to site and also to make this site more profitable because nowadays everything happening and everybody asking that how much dollar you can produce okay you are taking five dollar how much dollar you give return to society to government to funding it so that that i told you already this this is fruit of that site so i i have started working on, not only i my team has started working on tasar we started working on a uh, lack same site we are starting on working on uh, honey bee culture we started on working on uh, fishery so overall all together combined together it's given good you know i can't say compensation but i can say it's fruit to locals and local <laughs> used to be uh, you know very uh, what what i can say they used to, earlier they thought that uh, we are coming here for some some fun or something so uh, they resist our action but later on they become supporter and now they think that they are honor and usually they are, actually they are and now they are doing their everything their own so part of their livelihood option i have just showing you one aspect that is the sir culture on that restored site okay so uh, this is about same uh, this is called uh, this aspect is we can quote as a integrating tasar cultivation in ecological restoration process for con uh, conservation of one silk worm and development of sustainable livelihood option for local tribal at degraded mined out area of punapani odisha so as i told you we had many uh, partner so some fellow is outside delhi university who has done a good job with us they have helped us in 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 all those you know collecting of dfl and every, uh, they have also facilitated many activities so uh, let me introduce you to, to uh, what have happening around the world and why we have chosen uh, this particular research as everybody knows that due to uh, anthropogenic destruction of ecosystem the world facing unprecedented ecological crisis no matter whether you are botany zoology economics or chemistry everybody realizes feel it land degradation is the main contributor of ecological crisis and climate change especially in uh, mining area estimated land degradation due to mining is about 36 lakh hectare of land which is only 011% total land area of the country but this 011 is just a stat in reality you can see it's around 5% land affected due to one reason or other the change in land use pattern disturb local socio economic and livelihood by affecting local biodiversity climate and ecosystem services a particular area native plant including host plant of insect are disappearing whereas exotic invasive species are colonizing fragmented patches and establishing themselves successfully so wherever you see land destruction especially mining area the first visitor comes which is invasive species they find their heaven there they they cover everything 
and even some 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 native plant or host plant is there they eliminate it and it ultimately disappears in all those insects especially insect as i just discussed with ma'am that first domain that affected due to land destruction or pollution or or or, or something destruction is is insect especially lepidoptera so this is uh, just this slide showing the magnitude of uh, land degradation around the world and in india so globally 43% of vegetated earth surface has lost its productivity about 60% of global landscape are presumed to be degraded in india more than 50% i mean 56% of total geographical area are considered wasteland they are no more productive annually 1000 hectare of productive land are degraded due to open cast mining earlier they used to be uh, you know mining below the earth surface but now for making more pro profit more production the open surface and when they open surface they destroy everything on surface so this is more dangerous over 40% species of entomo fauna are threatened and may be reached to extinction level over the next few decades habitat loss is the main driver of declining insect diversity and we all know that our food security and ecological services and goods are drive by this insect diversity so responding to that in year 2019 united state uh, united nation has responded it sorry and they have declared 2021 to 2030 as a as a decade of restoration ecology so the bone challenge has a goal to restore 350 million km square almost size of india of degraded ecosystem globally by 2030 in, in which our country will contribute around uh, 26 million hectare degraded land by 2030 so how this ecological restoration happening perhaps we all know but i just repeat it ecological restoration refers to bringing back the dead degraded ecosystem to its original state that will have a realistic biotic and abiotic thirst hold to make it function on sustainable basis ecological restoration is ecological engineering and involve assembling of plant species into ecological community we are as a botanist we are talking about plant but not only plant everything happened we just make habitat and the remaining fauna comes there the engineering will promote biophysical process such as soil development moisture retention and nutrient enrichment leading to redevelopment of functional ecosystem the final outcome of restoration ecology is the establishment of an ecosystem having rich biodiversity and capable of generating ecosystem services and goods for mankind that ecosystem services and good are very important to make site sustainable and only site will sustain long term when it gives something to society otherwise they will not keep it how we have done it i'm just in short uh, elaborating it later on i will elaborate it but now i'm going very short in 250 acre uh, limestone dolomite mine out area and around 2 hectares mine out wide reservoir in purna pani odisha under steel authority of india limited were selected for ecological restoration in 2005 keeping in view of need for generating sustainable livelihood for local tribe and history of vanya silpa cultivation in this area tasar cultivation zone were developed by introducing thousand of diverse tasar host plant species at site undergoing ecological restoration promote livelihood through continued production and harvest of cocoon from this novel cultivation zone within degraded uh, ecosystem women self help group consisting of 
20 members each were formed. They were trained in rearing of tassar silk worm and making tassar based product in association with, just I have quoted, a different research agency who are expert in tassar like CTRTI and RSRS Padipata. It's a regional institute of CTRTI. So this slide showing my our site, experimental site where we have done more than decade, around two decade work. So it's a uh, situated near uh, Jharkhand Odisha border in district Sundargarh of uh, Odisha state. This site showing uh, you know preliminary photographs taken by us. The site showing limestone uh, mined outside in hill drains of Purnapani in Sutargarh district of Orissa, India. And this this water body, what is this water body is actually open cast mined out white. Later on it changes into uh, water body. But it was that time it was dirty, not productive. And even not aquatic life was there. This site showing same site after decade of restoration done by us and I am showing more uh, site this this same site this is from uh, one this showing in one photograph the same site the above one was before restoration and the below one was after restoration this slide showing you actually uh, wherever we do plantation we create community plant community assemble different plant according to their uh, soil moisture conservation etc we see all possibility and then we design because we all know that it's human effort but we try to make it natural so what we do uh, we cater also local interest so we formulate different community so this size showing uh, around nine community later on it's become 12 but it's nine community where what what where situated it's just showing you this is star showing you sericulture zone we given name sericulture zone because uh, whatever required for seri uh, tasar insect we have provided here okay so what we have done as i told you uh, we have selected women especially women because women are hard working in tribal area and uh, men has different work they can go but they we thought that later on <coughs> women we will con uh, concentrate on women so they we have engaged them not only for tasar but we, we, we thought also for creating forest so they were aware and we have selected around 100 20 in each group from all neighborhood we call them project affected people they are the people who affected more, more from uh, all mining and all development activity. Not development, destruction activity. Okay, so we have chosen them. They are already up, uh, aware that what is going on inside uh, this restoration site. And we took them to CTRTI Research Institute to make them competent. Also, we wanted to empower and train them we have trained them in in, in you know from a starting from from post management of post plant how to inoculate how to take care how to save it from bird and other pests so and also to post cocoon activity like how to preserve cocoon how to make treat how to make woven those uh, stuff so for that around two week training they have all got two week training in CTRTI and the later on this faculty including some of uh, from our department also had went to the field and they interacted we used to you know organize before uh, inoculation uh, season we just organized one uh, workshop at site or one or two also via video because that time everything was available so via VC you we used to be trend them so this is on site and that was that earlier uh, slide showing that on, on institution so we have trained given training them and, and 
then they have started working on this professor this professor gita is here i think uh, so now i'm coming in result and discussion the mind out area has been restored in three story tropical moist deciduous forest with top canopy reaching to 80 feet within 15 years the forest developed harbor around about nine plant community with more than 200 native tree species in year 2019 2020 alone estimated 1 lakhs more than 1 lakhs just we have uh, for for state we have taken lakhs so when we were produced and sent to market and also kept as a seed for for next crop cycle an average income of self help group member from sale of tasar kakan was 8000 it's look less 8000 here but in tribal area 1000 rupees is something so the restored ecosystem in limestone limestone dolomite mine out area of sel at punapani serve as excellent model for conservation of tasar jan plants and sustainable livelihood developed that can be replicated elsewhere where restoration work carried out this slide showing uh, you know uh, tasar has different host species primary secondary tertiary and we try to put all species however we had primary species we have given more species their percentage around 60 70% and 30% we had secondary and tertiary in particular zone and also we have uh, selected many many tasar zone because we had huge area so one pocket two pocket three pocket and we all, you, you know that if you put some insect it affect health of host plant so what we do we rotate it some suppose in one year here next season other place in in one year or two, one season or two season plant revive host revive itself so this is a, a typical you know community in this slide so in typical community of uh, uh, terminalia terminalia is a main uh, host plant terminalia dominated community this slide showing different host along with those cocoon and what we have observed many thing everything can't say i can't say in few minute but you know what happened that when we started production or uh, of uh, this tasar some native that is called one or white variety white species has come their own and you you see in tasar uh, in soria robusta their cocoon size color is something different okay it's dark that is a native the size is a smaller and and they come their own and they because of their host and habitat <coughs> so it's it's it's, 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 it's this, this whole area has history i think ma'am has remember it when we first visited 2005 2006 we saw in railway station we run behind some mob we still we have photograph so that day we realized that this area has kept history and jump class so how see this this is our small station in the store side where lady generally pick harvest and process kapu So I'm just concluding this talk that higher diversity of native host species increases number of ecological needs, which can further increases number of associated species. A study shows that restoring 50% of degraded land in priority area could avoid 60% of expected extinction while sequ uh, while sequestering 299. giga ton of co2 ecological restoration is simple cost effective does not require after care and provide livelihood to local communities way forward what we have communicated to society and and, and others less that we have learned from 
this biodiversity work <laughs> is uh, the key lesson learned from the, our society is stored ecosystems should be self-sustaining, native and biodiversity rich. Linking multiple stakeholder program and policy will result very fast. Because uh, as I told you, we have not worked only the university people or only botany people. We have also tried to bring experts from different areas who are experts from honeybee, who are experts of, uh, you know, lack. So we approach them, they are happy. They are happily come because we have provide platform. They came, they perform and result visible. So, and also we have uh, interacted with the government because yes, we have done, we have uh, harvest, but where this poor fellow go up and sell it. So we have approaches for cooperative market. They are happy, they came here, they have also spent some money, they help them. So what I want to say that interlinking different people, geology people, botany people, geography people, NGO, spiritual, or whatever, is a very beneficial in such type of work that I do here also in Tuglakawa. Skill development and awareness of local help in harvesting ecological goods and services as well as help in sustaining the restored ecosystem. That is very important. That you sensitize people, train people in management. Because now we have left that place. But this place is so is, is still going on at that place. They are now <laughs> they are illiterate people. But because of interaction with Professor Babu, they can tell you in botanical name. This plant is terminated tomatoes and this plant is Falana Dipkana. So that is because of training. And now <laughs> they understood look that what is native, what is not native. So they are also maintaining it. They are removing all lantana, parthenium, etc. to keep in forest intact, healthy. So that uh, we have published this just few months back. This is a story. And this is a acknowledgement because this is all funded by DPT and still authority of India. In Tassar activity, we have also got some help from CTRTI, Ranchi, Department and Handloom Textile and Craft Department, Government of Uesa. Thank you. Now, I welcome, because this is formal, now informal, you can ask anything related to my biodiversity part or restoration ecology. Sir. Thank you sir for providing that insight about the Tassar culture in that uh, ecological journey. Uh, one thing that, uh, why Tassar? Why not any other species? One thing. And uh, I also think that uh, the project affected people are now project benefited. Many things. Um, thank you. Just want to know why Tassar only, why not any other? No, no, no. That, 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 that is... You see, uh, restoration ecology is a site-specific technology. Generally, people came and they think that they can store it. So, before starting work, we do survey. Okay. What I told you in my talk, it's for people, by people. For people means what they want. Okay. So, what they want means if uh, in, in, in Delhi, you cannot do Tassar culture. I have ready Tassar cultivation zone. But who can, who wanted to volunteer? Who wanted for 8,000 rupees two month rigorous labor? Anybody? No. Because here our priority is different. Our priority is oxygen. Our priority is, is, is aesthetics. Okay. That area, as I told you, I traveled with madam in 2006. And we saw uh, uh, here and there many uh, moth. So that area has history, and that area also known as center of origin of many insect. So our work is not only revive plant. Our also aim is to revive all fauna. So money is secondary. Primary is to conserve germ plants. Okay, so we 
created habitat. I have shown one slide where a native is coming, visiting, and now they make their home. So our aim is to bring back those insect which has lost ground. So not only this one, also they, that area is very good in, uh, uh, they have also neighborhood, some villages already doing lack culture. So we have also introduced it. Because that area, people are now jobless. They are looking for 100 rupees, 200 rupees job. They are going route kila 30, 40 kilometer for 500 rupees. I am seeing more, 300 rupees. If you provide 200 rupees at their neighborhood, they will happily do it. Okay, and by doing that, they are prohibiting those fellow who is cutting law because they are they are connected with their livelihood. For sustaining, you have to connect local to forest. Okay, so giving this option in making engage them throughout year. One time they harvest this tasar. Second lot they harvest lac. Lac has different host species. Okay, so they also do something. Then there, there is something uh, that I have not mentioned here. Minor forest produces that include mushroom, include bidi patta, include uh, bear, include some fruit. Their mushroom is very costly local watching for them okay it's a very good flavor or something something is special so that all together giving their more goods for his and for his waste product so for if if i will go somewhere else okay suppose i will go in uh, northeast where also i travel with madam they will ask for ed i will introduce ed post there okay so it's all depend upon what they want. Sir, actually, I just want to know that uh, Dasar, as you said, they are selling. But uh, uh, like uh, other city uh, cultures, like uh, Malvi or in that area, in uh, you know, so this Jharkhand, Jharkhand, Odisha, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, and and some part of Bihar is a core zone of Tasar production right. center. They are production center of Tasar. So if you do Tasar culture there, you can avail easily all facility. They have research institute, they have DFL available. Okay. And more important thing that whenever I ask this lady, do you know Tasar? Then what they say? Yes, my, my mother used to harvest it. So, there in the past, past. But, but because of, the mining, because of activities, mining activities they they change their livelihood option in between right. they become laborer they work in uh, mines okay so they they have forgotten their profession so we kind of huh. yes yes and they are very good they are very good this 20 this group of 30 50 or whatever uh, uh, self-help group went in Ranchi and Ranchi director told me uh, that this is the best lot I have seen in my life because they used to clean it and and, and they everything they, they did they'll say that they used to study they are not uh, educated but uh, they have learned so much that they started to giving back so and 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 now they are all whenever they require see how they work so they, whenever they require they just calling me and they're calling also on prashant ka local uriya fellow he is also very helpful so still they are getting in touch with us in video on something and they're taking forward it and this is all one story we have many connected different this is with ctrti other with uh, you know the one is uh, other institute in uh, rachi is an expert in now name has been changed so they are expert in lack huh. no ma'am lack research is different where sarma fellow is it huh. this is this is ctri central silk board one institute very good institute they are helping us 
And now, and no, we have now left this side. We have trained them. Okay, so cell now cell has giving contract. Earlier they used to give grant us, but they can't give us contract. We are not contracted, so we have left, and we have to pursue my career. But because of I have connect now, uh, I feel that 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 is my home house. That is happened when we work. So I used to call them, and they need my help, and this thing happened. Okay. So so now what happens after this uh, 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 this work? I think October and November uh, we have visited in Rachi. So now other institute who has degraded lot of land, many hectare land, they are earlier, you know what happened, uh, and still people think restoration and it's a start from planting, it's a risk at five, six hundred, maximum five years and they think that their job is over now, it's a restore, but not, it's a long term commitment, okay. So now they are thinking what about after making forest. So this story is after forest because you have to connect it with somebody. If you not make it profitable, people will not get interested. Okay. So and also in, in, in particular area where mining or something, some, some uh, uh, you know, some interaction of human and forest lost you have to be developed interaction so for that this is good so now many uh, i think uh, when we visited that place uh, one big company i forgot my name uh, that, that has given offer to ctrti mou they have signed that they will make their entire area sericulture zone or plantation so if you do plantation with purpose definitely it it help so for that only. In Delhi, what uh, gentleman has asked me, in Delhi nobody interested in sericulture oh, and uh, something. So what they are interested in, 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 in the sowing, if he, they will see some hundred butterfly, oh, it's beautiful. They will come with big camera, they take photographs. That is also one uh, ecological services. So we are developing that. The day when somebody will come and say, okay, I wanted sericulture here, I will, I am ready. Okay, so based on need, we work on based on need. And need changes everywhere. Even in biodiversity park, need of, uh, you know, uh, those Yamuna uh, catchment area has different. And this hillock valley has, uh, this uh, southern ridge has different need. So we are doing accordingly. So it's site specific. We are changing every time. In fact, even in mining area, I have I have worked in different area. In coal, nobody interested in Tasar. So they had different demand. They wanted more bamboo. I put bamboo there. Okay, so so it's a for people by people. So you have to cater them. Okay. Any more? Yeah, I have. Uh -huh, please. So the super fun is very interesting and the work that you have done is very commendable. But I want to ask you, like if these people are going out into the wild, right? And they are taking or collecting the cocoons right from the wild. Have you like done some kind of study or some kind of estimation? What effect does it have on the natural population of Hmm. Why they have no natural population? Yeah, what happened to the? Is it like affecting it because if they are uh, collecting it from the wild? Shouldn't there be some effect negative impact on the population? Hmm? Doesn't affect the ecology of the area. No, no, no. Asking like, does it happen or what? What is the effect? What? Uh, why native or not there? You are asking? No, I am asking like if these people are going into the wild and collecting the cocoons from the wild. Yes. Does it affect the population of the wild moths in the... No. No. Because oh. by default, if you see height of uh, this uh, uh, plant, soil plant, sorry Arvosta, it 100, 100 feet height, 80 feet height. So they can collect only from lower area and the upper area and the, the, this tasar is very smart. 
they know how to keep their gene intact because i saw they they put their egg at very safe places so once if habitat is there they are safe if you destroy habitat then they lost their but still i mean uh, wouldn't you think that there should be no effect? sir some kind of study is done no no that is that is uh, you see i am not tasar fellow i i did because i i love it to for my own sight but in local they are collecting like that if you go mure bhans or inside similipal forest etc they are collecting wild and and uh, also they are doing harvesting it's on large scale we see this 1000 100000 this uh, 8000 rupees or 100 lady cannot change socio economic of entire area but what we have we have just shown them to how something could be possible uh, just, can I add yes that? yes yes ma'am um, i think we need to answer it absolutely correctly it's just so close to our heart we add to it so we have many influences uh, of this particular uh, and so the one that is cultivated by the central sector is the dava and the kukul is white and the wild influences which should be preserved Yes. Uh, are pure and different areas. So most of this work is with Java, the white coconuts that you see, which we will use for commercial purpose. But what we make this point in our is where there was nothing, now it is all bad. So the wild populations have also suffered from it. And uh, at the moment, I don't know whether it is which eco race has come, but there are probably mixture. And as you read from other cases also in that area, they must be the Shorya Rapasta is always supposed to be the host plant of the modern lepers. It's a very big, tight, uh, very heavy. And, uh, and the silk that is made, all of you ladies and gentlemen who like silk, you know the quality of the silk is also from each one. So uh, this is our introduction to Kasser. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Do you have? Uh, did you uh, go for the any kind of 
the competition, in set based competition or competition profile among these all, so that those who have interfered in the production of one particular crop or which kind of. Because in that particular uh, that, you know, the parameter must have affected when the wild kind of scenario was going on. These two questions. Okay. Madam, uh, I must tell you, wherever we go, in generally in Tughlaqabad, we have degraded forest, not degraded soil. Mm -hmm. But in my PhD day, wherever I go, I found their degraded soil. Okay. Making forest in degraded forest is easy. Making forest in degraded soil is tough. Because bringing back dead soil to healthy soil is a very difficult task. Okay? That takes effort. So, wherever we go, we went, I'm not uh, taking many uh, parameters, I'm just talking about pH. Because you have talked about salinity and uh, alkalinity. So, 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 for example, at the same time, we have worked on two sites. One is iron ore mines and other was uh, calcium carbonate, that is uh, sodium carbonate uh, or gypsum or something. Yes. This side, Puna Pine Limestone. Limestone soil has uh, pH more than 7. Okay, 9, around 9. There's uh, iron ore has around high six like that so both are not on equilibrium so what happening uh, what techniques we use see plant has its own capacity resilient community and mostly those understory surface voila things like grasses legumes <coughs> What they do, they bring back at equilibrium. If alkaline is there, they work different way. If acidic is there, they work on different way. They both in case they wanted to bring back around 7, 7, 5. Because soil mostly uses little bit alkaline. So that is done by plant, not by human being, not by gypsum, gypsum, anything else. So, what Professor Babu do in first year, second year, third year, and I am also here to Glekavad, you see. First three years, we introduce how, um, 100 species of uh, legumes and grasses. We just make carpet of grasses, native grasses, okay. That grasses and legumes, especially rhizoids here, have capacity. They secrete some many chemicals okay so that also help in reviving of microbial community and also helping it to uh, neutral neutralize those pH okay at same time they they offer food for microbes fungi nematodes and other and that make food way food chain and everything and that help also in solubilizing of micronutrients okay so all since all they are work together and then they make surface more productive or more uh, what what can you say it's more conductive for tree growth okay uh -huh. and one you are asking about this this is actually mine benches if you go a little bit upper side uh, sorry here you can see this is this uh, oh the upper one is this is called uh, OBD overburden dump so this is very loose structure okay it's not rock what overburden dump when they do open cast mining okay they take all upper side uh, upper uh, a, uh, layer of six centimeter to twenty centimeter is not uh, mines or uh, minerals they're just waste material for them but, but for us biology fellow it's a gold all life they have so what they, they do they just bring together and 
pile up at one place. That is called OBD. They are not productive, non-living, okay, but they have dues and they have characteristics of, uh, you know, upper soil, especially biochemical or geological characters they have. They have uh, nutrients, but they don't have life. Okay, or maybe it, it's not in the form of uptake cable. So that things done by legumes and grasses, especially their rhizosphere. If layman, they can say they're done by grasses and legumes. If you are a scientist, you can say it's done by rhizosphere of legumes, grasses. That legumes, grasses not only uh, provide uh, start food cycle or, or geochemical cycle but they also help in conservation of moisture retention of moisture that is very important in a uh, mine out area OBD if, because people generally what they do they go and plant thousand sapling and next year all did no survival survival 10% 20% because they don't have retention of water you need to water in every day that not happen if you do this, that will increase also organic matter. It add every season organic soil and soil, and that help in making things. Because you know, fortunately, uh, we had we were lucky that we had water body very near about. and some connection. I have no idea, ma'am. Maybe explain you that moisture has also some connection with kasap availability of moisture yeah. has some connection with this so in general other places other obd we had a length around 60 meter 60 feet suppose in five years in this particular place we had 70 feet 10 feet more uh, uh, because of uh, available of water uh, and other benefit we had here Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm.